song randolph that was oregano oregano too oregano, the oregano blues yeah awesome the, the reason we mention that's an original composition is we don't want any of you publishers contacting contacting us and saying oh we we have the royalties on that oh <laughs> uh, so oh, that was a copyrighted tune <laughs> we copyrighted just now. oh yeah oh yeah okay <laughs> Yeah, with the with the mentioning the fact that yeah, it's original. Exactly right. yeah, okay, we have to be very careful yes. and respect yeah. songwriters in Absolutely. general. I mean, I might be joking about it, but they deserve their songwriters due. deserve their due. I couldn't have said it better. Uh, so we always need to be uh, aware and cognizant of that fact. Yes. But, um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jim Huss speaking with you from the show from here at Keyboard Exchange International. You just heard Mr. Rick playing our Hammond Colonnade. And uh, we both, uh, you and I, remember the day you picked this up. It was in a church. Yes, Probably somebody donated it to the church, but it, that particular church, they wanted a B2 or a B3, mm -hmm. which they got, and they love it. Yes, but in the process, we acquired this as a trade-in, so it's going to be very economically priced, and uh, the gentleman you just heard playing, Mr. Rick, is a certified Hammond organ technician. So uh, he's serviced it, and he told me there's a few little things he still wants to go back and tweak and, you know, make, make perfect. Uh, and there's a few little scratches here and there on the organ. We try to touch them up a little bit. But the point is, for anybody looking for a great deal for an organ with a built-in Leslie, Randolph, this was made the same time as the Elegantes. Oh, okay. You know, that same uh, era, yeah. if you will. They had the Elegante, they had the Colonnade, and then they had the Commodore, which was the budget-priced one. Okay. This is kind of the midpoint, takes up a little less space, but it's very rare that, that we ever see them in this factory-finished ivory and gold. Yeah, that's what I was going to mention. I find that quite interesting. This I do, too. Ivory with the gold. You know. So, for I mean, there are people that would pay a lot of money just to have this as a custom finish. Mm. Uh, at, at the most, it just needs a little touch-up. Exactly. So... Uh, Randolph, the reason I wanted you to sit at the bench after Mr. Rick played is to show the versatility of this instrument. It can play the genre that uh, Rick was playing, which is uh, very... Uh, homeowner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the homeowner genre. Okay. You know, very mellow, very cool, very uh, easy listening. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can play many different styles. 
So if we could just show the good people watching some of the potential this instrument has. Feel free to mix it up, go from one style to the next, maybe show two or three more uh, examples of the versatility of this instrument. And uh, we only have one of these. It's likely we will only ever have one of these like this because I don't think I've even seen one except in pictures before. So there's got to be somebody out there that would just think this is perfect. And it's, although it's got a built-in Leslie, we could put one or even two Leslies on this organ. I can tell you right now they're not going to be a color match. We don't have matching ones, but we could put one or two Leslies because it already has the 11 pin outlet on built in at the factory just waiting for the day when somebody wanted to hook an external Leslie up. Okay. And then the switches on the organ will accommodate the switching in the Leslie cabinet. It's already wired in from the factory. So. Randolph, take it away and thank you so much. <laughs>
sadly, a lot of us are going to be staying closer to home here for the next uh, few weeks or months. And playing any musical instrument is a wonderful thing to do with your spare time. Rick mentioned this to me this morning, that uh, if those of you who have been putting off learning to play an instrument, not enough time to do it, you might want to consider making this your time to either catch up on your reading or learn a musical instrument, or do what whatever you can do in your spare time at home to use your time the most productively. In the meantime, uh, let's all pray for each other that we get through this uh, particular health crisis. And uh, God bless you all. Thanks for listening. But this number 408 is a Hammond colonnade and quite a special instrument uh, for any of you that uh, might want to take up playing the organ. But if you don't take up playing the organ, and if you have a piano laying around or a set of drums, it's always a good thing to learn to play music in your spare time when you say a break. Thanks for your time and attention. Hi, I'm Jim Huss speaking with you from the showroom at Keyboard Exchange International. We'd like to thank all of you who have helped us grow our business for the past 51 years and it is our intent to find good homes for all the instruments we have gathered uh, from all over the United States. Thank you to the families that have preserved the instruments and then sold them to us knowing that we would find good homes for them. If you, on the other hand, are in need of an instrument, please give us a call. Uh, there's been a lot of effort to gather these instruments together and we would like to make you part of the Keyboard Exchange International family. Let's all work together to keep these fine instruments going long into the future so that we now and future generations can continue to enjoy the wonderful sound of the Hammond Tone Wheel Organ. God bless. Signing off.